Hello. Hello. Hi, Serena. Oh. Hello, everybody. How can you hear me? Can you hear me okay? Okay. Hi, everybody. Hello, Muthana. For some reason, it doesn't want to stay silent while I talk. It's okay. You like my shirt? Ollie made it for me. Hello, Ashley. Hello, Jocelyn. Hello, Samantha. I know. A happy Hanukkah, everyone. I'm at a restaurant, but I brought my Hanukkah candles. Hello, Jax. I've never done... I, I feel... I, I asked permission. Hello, Shane and Sam and Jose and Heather and Daniel and Tilly. I do celebrate Hanukkah. Oh, you can't hear me? Hi, Mandy. Um, I bet you can hear me. Hello, Michaela. I bet more people would be saying. Uh, hi, Alicia. Hi, Andrew. I know. Hello. Hi, Nicole. Hi, Kay. Hi, D. Cruz. Why do I have headphones on? They're, they're noise canceling. But for some reason, every time I start talking, the noise canceling turns off, which is so strange. It's weird. Anyways, um, hello, everybody. Um, how's everyone doing? I figured that we could light Hanukkah candles together. Um, are y'all are y'all down to light some some Chanaka candles together? Hi T. Hi Backwoods. Hi Tiara. You can hear me. Okay. Good. Is the sound good? Can you hear me well? Is it a good sound? Yes, I am Jewish. Happy first night of Hanukkah. Yes. Hi everybody. Are we are we down to light the candles? I think it's left to right. I always forget. I guess it doesn't matter. Because the camera, who even knows? I know I have the menorah. Um, the, the noise canceling headphones are so important. Um, I did specifically ask right to left. Okay, so this would be my right. I guess your left. Um, I specifically asked permission. So I'm gonna go ahead and light this, and we're gonna say the prayer. Okay. Just give me a second. I'm gonna I'm gonna light it off screen for obvious reasons. I brought I brought my own tin foil and everything. All right, here we go. This is the we're, there's a bunch of Hanukkah prayers, but I'm only going to say one. All right, because there's only one super important one. You ready? Uh, it's um, how's it go? Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, asher kichanu b'mitzvotav, v'tzivanu l'hadikir, shehanukah. There we go. I also have dreidels. I have dreidels too, y'all. Isn't that cool? It starts tonight. It starts tonight at sundown, technically, but no time like the present. Ooh, the dreidel dropped. That's funny. And nice. I'm gonna put this down over here. Okay, I'm dreidel too. Um, this is specifically a Jewish restaurant, um, so I figured it would be safe to do it here. It's been a while. I love, I love Hanukkah. All right. Anyways, hello, Cassie. Oh, yes, Cassie. Yes. Uh, let's get you modded and my later. Confirm. I'm going to go ahead and put this off to the side so it doesn't get too much in the way. And we're going to talk about food. Yeah. Happy Hanukkah, pigeon. Thank you, everybody. I know it's noisy in the background. Um... I cannot sit outside, unfortunately. It is raining outside. Uh, can you explain what the candles mean? Yes, I can tell you the story of Hanukkah. Thank you, Blue Heart. 
Um, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to tell you the story of Hanukkah. Okay, so a quick summary of, of story, the story of Hanukkah. Hell no, summer. Um, it is loud, I agree, but this is a Jewish restaurant in San Francisco that is down to let me light candles, so I'm not going to... Uh, that's why I have my noise canceling headphones on. Um, the story of Hanukkah is that uh, there are some guys in a fight with some other guys, and they were less guys than the other guys. And then they beat the guys, kind of like they were little, the other guys were big, they won. And then the, they went to the temple and the, the temple was destroyed, but there was enough oil for one night, but it burned for eight days, hence the eight days of um, yeah. It's something I don't, talk, I don't talk about too much on stream, but um, I am Jewish. So, hi, Josephine. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. How's I know. I would have sat outside, but you know. Yeah. You get all security though. I had an umbrella and everything. My umbrella broke. I, mean, I know. I figured. I don't. I. I figured I might as well do it here because. I thought it was the first day today only. Yep. Tonight's the first night. Yeah, you do one. So one candle on the first night, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now that's the second night. That's why you have two. Oh, oh. There's always one in the middle. Oh, okay. I missed that part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's kind of like the special candle, the shamash, as they say. Do you want to get some? Yes, I do. Um, I think I'm gonna do the 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 lemonade. I think the the berry lemonade to start. I think so. I'm sure I'll do that one again. Yeah, we'll do. We'll, we'll, I'm sure we'll do both, but the, the berry to start. Thinking about it. We'll get there. Thank you. Hi, everybody. All right. Um, Felicity, are you there? Felicity, are you are you here? Hello, Soraya. Is Felicity in the house? Hello, Arwen's Photography. What restaurant is this? I can't tell you what restaurant it is. Um, because there's no nothing good that will come of that. <laughs> yes, happy Hanukkah, everybody. Uh, hello from Miami. Hi. Hello to Vera. Is Felicity here? Maybe, maybe not. If Felicity is here, let me know because she sent a very nice gift. Um, happy It's interesting that even even being Jewish on camera, is, I guess I'm not surprised. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, turn the comments off for a second. Right now. Anyways, if Felicity is here, Felicity already sent me one hundred dollars. I wanted I wanted to read Felicity's um, message. She sent it before the stream. Um, oh no, there's our there's another gift that I will read as well. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. There it is. Felicity sent a gift in two parts. I know they're already wild. Um, uh, Felicity. So the, this is. Uh, part one said, I have to send this in two parts. I was just thinking about how many people you have an impact on and give them strength to live their truth. How important that is to have because a lot of people don't have that in their real life. And part two, that is just special making a difference. Uh, that is just special. Making a difference is so important. I know that you know you make a difference every day, but sometimes it's nice to hear it. Happy Fabulous. If you're here, Felicity, thank you. That came with a hundred dollars. Thank you so much. Um, there is always mean bullies. I agree. Lauren said, I just got off work and I'm so happy. Oh, you had a horrible day? I'm sorry. Ugh. People are the worst. People are the worst. But yeah, especially yesterday, people were being really rude. Um, I guess I'm not surprised that people were also being rude today. But um, So, yeah. Happy Hanukkah to everyone who celebrates. If you don't celebrate, happy Hanukkah anyways. Happy holidays. Um, these candles will not be lit for too much. I, I'm, okay, so it's 134. I bet they'll be out by 215. You're supposed to let them go all the way down. Hydration and med check? Yes, hydration, cheers. 
Um, so this is a Jewish owned restaurant. 30 minutes, that sounds about right. It's a Jewish owned restaurant. And also I see a couple more gifts came through. I will read them soon, um, but I want to talk. So this is a Jewish restaurant. They have an entire lot to menu, which is like really important for Hanukkah. Like that's why I came. They have a whole latka menu. And I'm gonna read what they are. Hello, you can. Congrats on day 29 of sobriety. Congrats. Um, they have a traditional latka with sour cream and house-made applesauce. Okay. An Italian latka with burrata cheese and giardinaria vegetables. Giardinaria always sounds like a disease, but it's not. They have a Swiss uh, um, vodka with raclette cheese, which means they're going to... It's 29? That's awesome. I'm, I'm surprised I got that. Yesterday was 28, right? Um, raclette. So that means they're going to like spoon... They're going to like have a big hunk of cheese. I don't know if we'll see them do it, but they like wedge it off. So we'll definitely have to do one of those. Smoked sturgeon roulette latkes. So like kind of like locks on it. Um, toad in the hole, which has a chicken egg and white sturgeon caviar. That's a very expensive one. It's $27 because of the caviar, much more than all the others. And then a wild mushroom latke. So the question is, are these per latke? I guess we'll have to ask because I definitely want the Swiss latke that has reflect. I think a traditional and maybe I think a wild mushroom sounds good too. If I could do three latkes, that would be... But if they're like three each, I don't want nine latkes. I don't know. No. There's other good stuff on this menu that I want. Oh, they also have a pulled brisket latka, a pastrami Reuben latka, and a... Sm okay, okay, okay. So those those must be three pieces. These must be per latka. Okay. Got it. So we'll do a traditional, a Swiss, and a wild mushroom. That's three latkes. That's a lot of latkes. Thank you so much. And thank you for allowing us to light the candles. Thank you. That was the owner, or at least the manager. Um, let's deliver the uh, lemonade. So, there we go. Y'all, this is a frozen blended berry lemonade. Look at this. Thank you, Soraya. Look at look at this crafts, crafts person ship. Craft ship? It doesn't matter. I just don't want to say men, because it's a gender neutral way of saying that, I'm sure. Isn't that so cool? And it's so good too. That's, I always have to get the, the lemonade one here. Okay, so we're gonna get the latkes. Easy. Beyond that, we were here relatively recently. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna scan the menu to see if there's anything different. Caesar salad, soup. Soup, soup, soup. Oh, I think the soups must have changed. They had a white, okay, they now have a white bean soup. I haven't had that before. Um, I think that's the only soup right now, which is fine. Uh, maca sandwiches, sandwiches, soup. Oh, matzo ball soup. We could do matzo ball soup. Matzo ball soup is pretty good. Um, should we do matzo ball soup? I mean, if we're, if it's, it's Hanukkah, so we might as well go all out and just go like super Jewish food today. I guess everything here is pretty Jewish. Oh, you know what though? I do remember last time the crispy chicken sandwich was really good. But then again, if we're doing three latkes, do we also then need, need is not the right word, want an entire crispy chicken sandwich. I guess I could bring it home if I don't eat it all, which I probably won't. Um, there's all these like deli sandwiches. I don't really want that today. The crispy chicken sandwich was so good last time. I, I, I can hear you for the most part. Uh, tuna is new. I that is new. Been last time. It's always very again, but you know tuna is not far. I always recommend the menu. It's such a good price. Mm -hmm. It's got that little bit of a chip here, lime, yeah. lime layer to it, but you know, over the top. Beautiful side. It's really a good deal. Okay. And I don't know what you're going to use for. Yeah, I, so I definitely want to go with some lakas. Are they individual? That's actually the bar menu, so they might. Uh, you can do individuals. Otherwise, these are priced for three. Okay, but these are individuals. The prices are similar ones for three or what's the one? These are individual. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So I definitely want some lakas. I'll do a tra um, a traditional, a Swiss, and a and a mushroom. All right. If that's okay. One mushroom. One mushroom. One Swiss. One traditional. If that's okay. Um. Is that? Uh, the plate is the same as traditional. One more time. Yeah. 
So that's one plain one uh, with some one mushroom. If that's okay. okay. Perfect. I'll make sure that they do it because I don't know they're set up for everything. Okay, if not, then I can just order one of these, no problem. Okay. And I'm between the matzo ball soup and the white bean soup. They're both really good. They're both classic, one large bowl in the center. Yeah. White bean I like it's vegan and then there's the mamash on top. Oh. Oh, the sausage. Okay, got it. Um, yeah, let's let's do the white bean. I, I think I had the, the matzo balls before, so I'll try. Yeah, I'll try the white bean. Perfect. That that should be a good starting place. Maybe I'll get more. Okay, cool. Can I hold on to this? Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. Josephine, we love Josephine. Josephine was our server last time. I'm going to a drag show tonight. That's exciting. Tell us about it. Do you know any of the people there? Or is it just kind of like... Also, gifts. So sorry. I'm, I've am i totally dropped the ball on some gifts. If Felicity is here, I read the message earlier, but um, thank you again, Felicity. Um, okay. Do, 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 do. Jamie. Hello, Jamie. Jamie sent a dollar. Thank you. Uh, and said, for your love and light, or your love and light shines bright. Red heart emoji, rainbow emoji, 100 emoji. Thank you so much. Uh, what should I do for my one month sober? Um, celebrate, definitely. What Do something that makes you happy. That can look entirely different for you, right? Like, I mean, go out for a nice meal, spend time with friends, go, you know, something that makes you happy. Definitely something, treat yourself, whatever that looks like, I would say, for sure. Um, also, Emma. Emma said two dollars. Thank you, Emma. Uh, and said, "Hi, pretty. So happy to see you on my page today. Just stopping in for a second to say hello. Hope you're doing well." Pink heart emoji. Thank you, Emma. If you're still here, I know um, you're probably not. If you were only here for a second, because that came in a few minutes ago. But regardless, cheers. The candles are burning low already. Hello, Looney. Right, I'm going to turn comments on a little bit now that we've kind of settled in. A little bit. Hello, everybody. How's everyone going? I'm really happy that I got to do this because I'm not going to lie to you. A year ago, not today. Oh, hi, Felicity. Felicity, did you hear me read the message earlier? I, I'm not sure if you if you heard me hear it. I'll, I'll read it again if you haven't if you didn't hear. But we were talking about you earlier. Um, anyways, uh, lockers are the best. I agree. Uh, any tips on being confident? Uh, that's a tough one. Confidence is not something you can kind of just like, I missed it. Okay. I want to read Felicity's comments one more time just because they really, they were really um, touching to me. And they deserve to be repeated. So um, Felicity, before the stream, well before the stream, uh, sent $100. Um, and, and this is in the context of... Um, what happened yesterday, which was a particularly nasty day for um, for the comments. And this is what Felicity said. Um, I have to send this in two parts. I was just thinking about how many people you have an impact on and give them strength to live their truth. How important that is to have because a lot of people don't have that in real life. That is special. Making a difference is so important. I know that you know you make a difference every day, but sometimes it's nice to hear have a fabulous day. Um, and Felicity, I was actually playing Fortnite with Ollie when that came through, and I read it out loud to him, and it was like... We, we bo both were just like, our hearts melted. Um, and it is nice to hear. Because, like, yeah, people tell me this, but, like, every time it's a good reminder. Because anytime someone... For every negative, for every positive comment, it feels like there's a lot more negative comments. Um, but uh, it is it is so kind of you to um, to support the stream, to support me and this community in the way that you do, and we're we're all really grateful for you. So, thank you for this. What happened yesterday? Just a, I mean, a, just a particularly nasty day for trolls. Happy Hanukkah, Johnny. Um, no, I mean, people were like making accounts that had my, I don't want to say it all, people are going to do it regardless, that had my picture and then gifting so that like, it, and it was just nasty. Um, how do I decide on the name Lily? Uh, I, so Lily is a name that was always kind of with me uh, in 2006, 
I started playing video games on my computer that a lot of times would require you to like pick a name, like name your character. And um, Lily is the name I started with. And it just kind of all, I always spelled it the same way, always L-I-L-L-Y. And it just always was there. And I kept on using it over the years. And by the time I was like out of college, it was always Lily, right? And like Lily was kind of like a, at the time I thought an alter ego, but really not. Um, really more of like my actual self pushing through. Um, so by the time I started to transition, uh, it became clear that uh, I, I am Lily and I've always been Lily. And um, that was uh, that was just kind of obvious there. So what's my legal name? My legal name is Lily. Um, my cat's names are Lily and Tino, for real? Actually, that? Um, anyways, so that's, that's how I came up with the name of Lily. Couple gifts that came through. I would like to read. Um, of course, we already read Felicity's and a couple others. Jamie and Emma. Lacey. Lacey D. Thank you so much, Lacey. Lacey sent $5 and said, just for your amazingness, two pink heart emojis. Happy. 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 Thank you so much. Um, Tiff. Tiffany. Tiff sent ten dollars. Thank you so much, Tiff. No, no subject line. Just ten dollars. That is so sweet of you. Thank you, Tiffany. Thank you so much. Y'all are y'all are making this stream possible. The po the positivity, all of the the stuff that we're able to do here, it's only because y'all support it. So thank you. Thank you so much, Tiffany. Um, also, Corey. Oh, that's so sweet. Corey B sent ten ten dollars. Thank you, Corey. Um, and said, oh, I see that mommy X2. But first, uh, Corey said, F the haters. They spelled it all the way out, sort of, and said, F the haters, much love, heart emoji, eyes with heart emoji. Thank you so much, Corey. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, everyone who's gifted today already. And I know there's another one, I'll get to it. I think my husband wants to be my wife. I am 100% okay with it, but I think they're scared to tell me. Okay, mommy X2. Well, first off, cool. Congratulations to your wife. Um, now, um, before we get into like what what my advice would be to you, um, the thing about being trans is it's not something that like you don't change genders. You don't um, you don't just like one day become a woman. the The way that it actually is is that you are and you realize that you are and that you always have it. Just like you don't really become gay. Um, you don't become trans, you just are, right? So your husband, it sounds like, has always been your wife and you just didn't know it and maybe neither did they. Um, now, the thing about uh, what do you do here, um, it's a little bit more complicated. It sounds like you're cool uh, with them transitioning. Uh, how do I send a gift and a note? Uh, I have Venmo, Cash App and PayPal all in my bio, my TikTok bio, if you want to send, thank you. Um, I understand it was just too much to type. I got you, mommy. Cool, great, I'm glad you understand. Um, yeah, so if you're cool with it, right? Like not every relationship survives that. Um, sometimes people will transition and their partner is no longer attracted to them. And that's totally, that's fine, that's valid. Uh, sounds like you might still be interested in your partner when they, if and when they transition, which is great. Um, so what I would recommend is a balance of you don't need to push them on it. Um, but I would say like, probably make some comments offhandedly even that suggests that you're cool with it, right? Maybe, um, you know, talk to your your spouse and be like, oh, hey, you know, I saw something in the news about like some, some good news or maybe even, even do it through me. Be like, oh yeah, I was watching this wonderful trans girl on TikTok the other day and she's so great and God, I am just so pro trans rights. You know, like you don't need to do it as like obvious as that, but you know, making it known that you're cool with this. And you could even say like, God, I, trans people are great. And I, and even, you can even just make it obvious. Like, oh, I wouldn't even mind if someone I knew and loved, I would really want to stay in their life if they were, they came out, right? Like you can just tell them without telling them. I think my teenager is trans and I don't know how to take it up with them. Um, I, 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 I'm not sure what you mean by take it up with them. Um, it's, this is pretty much the same situation, Talon, as Mommy X2 with the, the spouse, right? Of like, I'm pretty sure my, someone I know is trans. 
I don't know what to say. I don't want to like force them to tell me. Um, you, you don't, I wouldn't ask them point blank, but again, you can always like make subtle comments to your teen or not so subtle that like you are very much an ally and you love them. And it like, you know, you could even say like, you could even be super obvious about it and say like, you know, if someone I knew came out to me as trans, I would love them just the same and support them always and always. And leave it at that, right? Just letting them know directly. Um, because you don't, because one, that's, that's the passive way of doing it versus the active, hello, Brittany. Uh, the active way, which is like, are you trans? And that puts them on the spot. You don't want to do that. But passively letting them know that when they're ready, they will be met with love. That's a very important thing and powerful thing you can do for your kid. So that's what I would do. Um, so there's that. A couple more gifts. Uh, actually, oh, thank God it's a paper straw. Otherwise, thank God the paper straw had smushed and didn't like bring the drink with it. <laughs> oh, no, I accidentally blew out. I don't want the smoke to trigger anything. Perfect. <laughs> All right. Um, anyways, do I think there are transgender people in the 1900s? That's a good question, twitch.tv chill streamer. Not only were there transgender people in the 1900s, there's documented trans people that served in the Civil War. There's a trans man who you can look up. I forget his name, but just type in trans man Civil War. There's that. Um, there's transgender people that relate back that that are documented in the medieval times and ancient greek and roman times transgender people have always been here but the reason you're hearing about trans people more these days is because the conversation is finally in a place where uh we're ready to um be visible in the world uh we are ready to um let you know we're here and we've always been here. uh there's also like a really cool case really something i forget there's like this trans man who was a jazz singer in the 40s, I think. Um, no one knew he was trans man, like completely passing everything. Um, and then apparently like his kids had no idea too. And they found out after he passed, which is crazy. Like, look it up, it's crazy. Um, anyways, so yes, we've always been here, always been here. Um, I think I might be bi, but I do not know how to know for certain. Okay. Um, well, um, hi. thank you. It's a, it's an interesting question. Um, I'm not bi, so I can't particularly give you any like, oh, this is how I know. But I mean, if you, the thing about being queer is if you think you might be queer, you're already on to something, right? Not saying you are for sure, but uh, Billy Tipton, thank you. Yes, Billy Tipton, that's, that's Billy Tipton. The trans male. Uh, trans man jazz singer from the 40s. If you think you might be bi, you just don't know how to know for sure. The, the simple question is, are you attracted to both men and women? And if the answer is yes, then you're bi. Um, but, you know, there's, if, if, you, if you think, oh, well, I'm maybe like a little bit attracted to men, but like mostly women or a little bit to women and mostly men or whatever it is, um, that's also perfectly valid. You can have a um, preference between the two. You can feel like more anxiety about one over the other. Um, it's totally valid. Uh, chances are, if you think you're buying a proper buy, and that's cool. Welcome to the world of being queer. It's great. Um, it's a lot of fun. Uh, and your dating pool just doubled, so that's cool. Um, do I ever cook at home? I do. I do. I do cook at home. Um, not as much. No, I'm not buying. I'm not buying. Uh, I'm interested in femmes, not really in men. Okay, okay. So Mars's mom, Ashley, uh, sent me this from Mars's mom. Mars is being indecisive, but making the final choices for his binder. Now, smiley face. From Mars. Hey, Lily, your makeup looks great today. Tell the stream lovelies I say hello, friends. Y'all, Mars says hello, friends. Everyone say hi to Mars. I joke about dating girls because my family is against it, but I love both. Oh, Jamie, that's the worst. Have to deal with that. How did you know you were trans? I would love to learn more for better ways to support you. Sure. Um, so, uh, how did I know I was trans? Well, the core experience about being trans is a thing called gender dysphoria, right? Basically, it means that um, the gender you were assigned at birth, or in a, in a, the metaphor that I like to use is the shoes that you were given at birth, right? They're shoes that they thought were going to fit you, but turns out they're not fitting you. 
and every step you take is kind of painful. It's like, ooh, I don't like all these this box that people want me to fit in. It's very uncomfortable and sometimes painful. Um, that discomfort is gender dysphoria. Um, realizing you're trans starts when you identify what you're feeling as gender dysphoria, right? So like looking in the mirror and seeing my hairy chest and beard and looking at it and being like, I don't like that. That's, that's like the start of it. But then also realizing gender euphoria, gender euphoria, right? The opposite. Like, for example, the first time I put on a dress and I was like, ooh, this, I'm seeing myself in the, for the first time in a way that makes me very happy. That's gender euphoria. Um, so I realized for sure I was trans when I put on a dress for the first time. Uh, and kind of, it kind of like all came crashing. It was like, oh, I am definitely, definitely trans. Um, yes. But anyways, hi Mars. Um, also, uh, Justin sent a dollar and said, is this the, re the right account? Justin R, yes it is. This is the right account. Thank you. Um, that's an int oh, don't spam it though. Um, okay, I'm gonna address this question. There's a lot of lot of landmines here, but we are gonna we are going to brave it together. Okay. My parent came out as transgender a week ago. I am his daughter, but how can I support them but also grieve? Okay. So when you say dad, I'm assuming you mean the person who is transitioning from male to female, Camilla? Is that is that what I'm understanding? That the person who is formally, quote unquote, your dad, now transitioning to female. So am I correct in understanding that that's what you're, you're telling me here? Because if that's the case, um, that can be difficult, uh, but also the important thing to remember is that you are not losing your parent. Uh, in fact, you are gaining a much happier parent. Your parent is about to be much happier. Um, so really, you're not losing anyone or anything. Um, there's nothing. There's nothing lost here. There's no grieving needed um, because your parent is still there. It's not like out of nowhere your your parent is going to go from being one person to like an entirely different person. Right. The the way I am now is there's a lot very similar about me now than I was before I transitioned. Right. I still talk the same way. I still have the same hobbies. I still have a lot of the same friends. I still, you know, enjoy the same foods. Right. Like not much of me has changed in that way. Um, my name has changed. Um, the way I look has changed. But ultimately, I'm the same person. In a of ways. So um, I would try to contextualize it not as a grieving. But r rather, you're gaining someone in your ha in your family being happy uh, for the first time, and to be happy for them for that. And you can always ask questions and see like where they're at in terms of like what they want to be called. And you know, maybe they're still cool with you calling them dad. I know that's something that happens a lot. Um, but just just talk to them about it. Just talk to them about it, and it'll be okay. Um, it'll be okay. Um, All right. Heart is what matters on a person. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do I think the tra hate for trans people will stop? Uh, I hope so. I don't know about next generation. Hopefully. I sure hope so. My mods are on fire. I know. My mods are great. Um, let's see. We've got another gift from Cheyenne. Hello, Cheyenne. Uh, Cheyenne sent $8 and said, I love your curly hair and soothing voice. Thank you, Cheyenne. You're very sweet. Um, what is your, emo what if you're emotionally attracted to one gender, but blank to the other, would I still be bi? Um, so there's the difference between bisexual and biromantic, right? Where you can be emotionally attracted, um, to one, but not the other. And that you might be like hetero romantic, right? That means you're only romantically attracted to one. Um, I guess if you're, that's, that's an interesting match where you're, Sexually attracted to women, but romantically attracted to men, but not the reverse for the other. That makes you bi hetero romantic and heterosexual, but in an interesting way. It doesn't. The, the interesting thing is, it doesn't really matter. Um, you could put a label on it however you want. There's probably a better label you could find. But at the end of the day, you, you like what you like, and you like how you like as well. Oh, I'm so happy, Jenny. Okay. Um, 
I'm going to go ahead and turn comments. Or I'm not seeing as many like nice comments. A lot of just uh, very um, medium faith comments. What did I eat yesterday? We had Indian food yesterday. It was good. We had naan, papadam, a kind of like Indian ramen. Ooh. <laughs> this is the wild mushroom? Okay, I see. Perfect. Oh, the raclette's coming? Nice. It's very exciting. Excellent. Thank you very much. I'm all good. Thanks. All right. Trying to comb out the one. I get it, Cassidy. What did I end up ordering? So right now we're doing our latka round. We have, hello. This is a wild mushroom latka. So latka, I think Swiss cheese? A Emmental cheese, creme fraiche on top, and what looks like meat, but is actually mushrooms. Um, we have a classic latka, just plain latka with uh, sour cream and applesauce. No, we also have a raclette latka, uh, which is like scraped down gooey cheese on top with a couple of pickles and what looks to be some sort of bris brisaola. It's kind of like a cured meat. Um, I'm going to start with, let's start with, um, let's start with the raclette. I'm the most curious about the raclette, so we'll start here. That's good. I'm going to take one piece of meat and one pickle. Thank you, Jason. That is quite good. Yeah, I don't get what people hate either. It can be kind of discouraging sometimes, but I guess that's what they want to discourage me. It's not going to stop me. It's quite good. Mm. Mm. It's really good. I needed these lockers today, y'all. <clears throat> Sun's finally coming out. Not gonna be raining anymore. I think the rent is done raining for the day. How's it going, Kirsten Home Slice? Mm. By the way, after this stream, um, once the stream ends, which isn't anytime soon, thank you for subscribing, Tiffany. Um, we're going to go back to my apartment, or there'll be a break, and then I'm going to go back to my apartment. And we're going to um, watch a stream of the Game Awards together, so it'll be like three hours of hanging out on stream. So if you're on Discord, big event tonight. It's kind of like the um, uh, Oscars of video games. So even if you don't watch video games, I will explain things as we go. Thank you, Tiffany. I appreciate it. I appreciate it, Tiffany. Yeah. I'm excited. No awards are tonight. Awards are tonight. Oh, we'll be on Discord quite a bit tonight. Mm. That's good meat too. No, really good. All right, one last bite for this lot, huh? Mm. Mm. That's a good lot, y'all. How's it going, Ollie? I voted Baldur's Gate three. Baldur's Gate 3 is going to run away with a lot of it. Baldur's Gate's too difficult. If you haven't played d and I can see why that would be the case. I just hopped right in. It was like, I've, I know those systems backwards in front, but I can see why. Baldur's 3, yeah, that and Zelda are going to be the two. But I would love to see, is Lies of P nominated for anything? That was probably my favorite game either. I love Baldur's Gate 3 too, and Zelda, but for some reason that really hit for me. Mm. This is also really good. Time zone difference is too big. I feel that. Is Baldur's Gate PC only? No, it's on PlayStation 5. Unfortunately. You just got to get that game and, game and PC. Um, it's on Steam Deck. Maybe you should get a Steam Deck. Thank you. It's really good. 
Um, Diablo 4? Oh. That's a take. Can't agree with you on that one. I do not like Diablo 4. I didn't color my hair again, but I have a color filter on that makes it look pretty good. I think we had a nomination. I wonder what. I just love Souls games. I love games that punish me. Maybe that's giving you a little bit too much of an insight on what I like, but I, I really want to see some Elden Ring announcements tonight. That's what I'm mostly looking for. Or any sort of Souls game announcement. Hmm. I'm really good. I forget how much I love these things. Today is a good luck a day. See the matzo ball? Oh, we're not doing matzo balls, Lacey. Um, we're getting the white bean soup instead. Partner's open for an L. Did your partner ever beat Liza P or get closer? No, you said they were at the, the bishop or something last time. Of course, Liz. Favorite video game of all time? I can give you some of my favorite video games of all time, but I don't think I can give you one. Um, Stardew Valley. Thank you for subscribing, Gia. Um, Stardew Valley, Hades, the original Knights of the Old Republic, Elden Ring, and honestly, every Souls game. But Elden Ring, number one. Five, maybe? I don't know. I'll stick with those four. Yes, they did. It took a while to beat the boss. Oh, good. I'm glad, Tismo. That boss was tough. They're coming out with a new game that's instead of Pinocchio, you're Dorothy. Very excited. I'm glad you think so. Um, hello, Gio. Happy Hanukkah. Eating lakas here. Okay, so this is the wild mushroom laka that has mushrooms, creme fraiche, and Swiss. Swiss? I think Swiss. Oh, no, no, no. No, there's Emmental cheese on this one. It was Raclette on the other one. Right? I don't know. Ooh. That's bold. I like that, too. They don't stray... I mean, clearly, with all the mushrooms on here, they're not straying away from mushroom flavor. It's very nice. Thank you, Lyndon. Mm. I love how androgynous. I know. I saw him as a fanboy, which is why I was so happy to play as him. And there's a part in the game where you can make your hair longer. It made me very happy. I don't play video games, so you can't play as a fan. I used to grin and bear it, but like, if I can't play as a feminine presenting character, I'm not interested. Like, um, Sekiro, can't do it. Love Souls games, can't do it. What does truffle taste like? I probably got like hot sauce and I found a truffle one. Um, how do you define truffle? It's very like earthy and smoky and like funky. Funky, earthy, and smoky is how I would describe it. If anyone else has a better way of describing it, I'm open, but that, that would be my, my description. I'm not huge on truffle. We love you, Liz. Love you. It's a strong mushroom. Yeah, that's a good way of saying it. It's very rich. Also, um, Justin, I answered Justin again, but yes, this is the, the you, you sent it to the right one, Justin. You did. Anyways. Yeah, Liz, are you in this car? It's very rich. You don't want too much trouble. It's one thing that, like, too much of it can be bad. Truffle is best used in moderation. For sure. That's very good. All three lockers have been fantastic. All very filling, too. Very thick. Truffle makes my stomach hurt. Interesting. Yeah. I just... It's not... It's not quite... So if someone was like, you have to eat one or the other, oregano or truffle, I'd pick truffle every time. It's it's not nearly as bad for me as oregano, but it's still, I still prefer not to have it. Some things it can work on, but most things not. 
So next up is our white bean soup that has house-made chicken andouille sausage and kale pesto. Do you have the oregano soap gene? No, that's cilantro soap gene. And I do not. Oregano doesn't taste like soap to me. It just tastes gross. Cilantro I love. I had pizza last night. We had Indian food last night on the street. And it was delicious. Hello, Gracie. I do not like oregano either. It's so bitter. Yeah. Yeah, I just don't like earthy herbs like that. I guess that's why truffle also sits in that category. Um, it's just not like rosemary, thyme, sage, marjoram, oregano. None of it is good for me. Cilantro, on the other hand, is very bright and floral. Arugula is fine. I like arugula. I get it on my pizza. I could never. If, 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 I, if oregano comes on my pizza, it is immediately getting sent back. And I will always ask for it not to be there, but sometimes it gets messed up and I'm like, sorry. This is one, this is one topping I can't... I can abide by other mistakes sometimes, but not that one. Uh, give me all your earthy herbs. Okay. I don't have any of them on me right now, Ollie. But when I come across them, I will send them to you. Is that okay? Also, I have Hanukkah gelt. Everyone know what this is? Jews in the chat know what I, what um, what it is. It's disgusting chocolate, but you eat it. Basil's iffy. I love basil. I'm Italian, so I love basil. Basil, uh, cilantro, parsley. I'm here for all of it. Ollie knows what it is. Well, there you go. Very happy. It's not good. It's bad. It, it's it's like worse than Hershey's, and Hershey's is gross. Yeah, it's chocolate coins, and it's called gelt, and you spin the dreidel and everything, but it's just like... Actually, actually, for some reason, that, that's not that bad. It's not good, but it's not bad. I think sometimes you get, like, the ones from the year before, and they're stale. It reminds you of Easter chocolate, sure. I think these are made this in 2023, which is good. We like fresh chocolate, fresher. The thing is that American chocolate uses wax. Speaking of which, they literally have drip wax onto these because of the more. But um, they have wax, and it's just so gross. I haven't seen chocolate coins in forever, yeah. Basil and faux is awesome. I teach our kiddos about Hanukkah and all holidays, even if we're not religious. That's good. That's great, even. H and T are very lucky to have you as a dad. Yeah. This is like a little menorah. I kind of see. It's like him. There you gotta see that. A little menorah and engraved. That's not the right. It's a menorah relief. Mm. Meaning behind the coins. Now, that is something I do not know. I can tell you the story of Hanukkah. I don't think chocolate coins have anything to do with it. Um, really, Hanukkah is a, is a pretty unimportant holiday. Thank you. These were delicious. So good. So much. Um, Hanukkah is a... I need mean, soup good I do. That's, a, that's jelly donuts. Um, I wonder if they have them. Maybe they do. But uh, Hanukkah is a pretty minor holiday in Judaism. Like, it, religiously, it's not important at all. The, th the reason why it's so big is because Jewish kids feel... We're feeling jealousy... <laughs> all the, the kids who celebrated Christmas and Jews needed something to kind of like around the same time of the year to celebrate and like give gifts for. But gift giving is really kind of all like a modern invention for Hanukkah. Which is fine. I agree that it should, it exists, but you know, it's a pretty like 14 gifts. So in theory, you're supposed to get one gift per night, which eight nights. So you know, if you're a, a cruel parent and say you're getting your kid a PlayStation 5 for Hanukkah or whatever, on one night you can give, first night you can give them the HDMI cable. Second night you could give them a controller. Third night you could give them a game. Fourth night you could give them, I don't know, some other accessory, a TV maybe. And so on and so forth until they're just going absolutely crazy on the eighth night when they find the game. Maybe, maybe on the seventh night, you give them the PlayStation, but not the power cord. Cool. I know my parents tried to do that to me once, and I was like, please don't. <laughs> Batteries, yeah. 
Mm. Yeah. Anyways. We did Hanukkah. We celebrated Hanukkah growing up a lot. That was every year. We didn't do Christmas. My dad was raised Catholic, but he um, converted to Judaism, actually. He converted when I was like 12 or 13, around the time of my, mom, or around the time of my bar mitzvah. Um, he really did it for himself, which, you know, he waited, he waited a while. I know my mom wanted him to convert, but he only did it once he was ready. Um, yeah, I think it, it really meant a lot to him. What's my favorite Jewish holiday? Well, unsurprisingly, my favorite Jewish holiday is one that most revolves around food. So, plenty of them do, but I think none more than Passover, which is the, there's like a formal meal that's a part of it, where you sit down, there's like a whole service, like a book you read called the Haggadah at the table. And there's all these different courses that um, uh, you have to like, make your way through as a part of the service and you do all these things like there's a big plate in the middle and there's like different things on the plate and you have to make like a sandwich with one thing and another thing and you put it together and it's like this symbolizes the, the sweetness and the bitterness and it's like oh, but it's fun and um for those of you who do imbibe i think there's like four glasses of wine that are a part of the service so it gets a little funky by the end but yeah, that's fun. And there's matzo ball soup, and there's gefilte fish, bitter herbs. Yeah, it's all there. So I would say Passover uh, is probably one. If if I had to pick a different one, Purim's fun. It's kind of like Jewish Halloween. Sips instead of glasses. That's smart, Fiona. See, that's, that's smart. Um, Purim's like Jewish Halloween, but I don't really enjoy that one so much. Yeah. Yeah, I guess probably Passover. By a mile. Hanukkah is fun too because of gifts, but there's no Hanukkah. You get fun food too. You get the the, the tradition and the reason that lakas are a thing at Hanukkah is because they're fried. And the story of Hanukkah revolves around oil because the oil is a part of the um, the like the menorah. And I know it's candles, but back in the old old days, there was oil in these things that that would burn. So you make donuts and lakas and things that are fried, which is fun because we love Friday. Uh, what do we think? Should we try comments turned back on? Do you, do you think the... Yay. Ooh, this looks good. I'm glad I have you as a privilege or something. My dad converted to Catholic from Baptist to be able to marry my mom. Interesting. Hello, Laura. It's up to you. Catholic to Baptist. So, I guess they're not similar, but they kind of are. But they kind of are. I guess if you, I guess if Chris needed it, whatever Chris wants. Chris is all the time. Um, all right, we'll give it a shot. Everyone, be cool. Be cool, please. Not sure. Did I read this last gift? I'm not sure. Cheyenne, Cheyenne, did I read your gift? Cheyenne sent eight dollars and said, "I love your curly hair and soothing voice with the heart emoji." I'm pretty sure I said it, but I don't say it again. Thank you, Cheyenne. That's very sweet. This soup looks amazing. I know this is uh, white bean soup, which has house-made chicken and andouille sausage and kale pesto. Poured it. Let's see how this goes. Also, their spoons are great because they're like very long, and you can kind of like more than normal spoons. I got approved for my first apartment. Congrats, that's awesome. That's so great, mazel tov. What do Jewish people say about trans people? That's a good question. Um, so like any religion, there is a wide swath of beliefs and degrees of practice. Um, generally speaking, when you talk about Judaism, there's like three main movements. There's... Um, Orthodox Judaism, which is like the people who wear the hats and the, they got the curly hair coming down and they're in suits and like dancing around and all the women are totally covered up and wearing wigs. I have opinions on Orthodox Judaism, Judaism that we don't need to get into now. Um, there's also the conservative movement, which is kind of halfway between Orthodox and the reform movement, which is like cool, chill Jews that 
don't take it too seriously, but you know, still do stuff. Uh, there's also reconstruction and all sorts of other stuff. So those are kind of like, there's like expert mode, medium and easy mode kind of when it comes to Judaism. I'm very much like barely even reform. Um, I know plenty of Jews from all different movements and just respect and love to all of them. Ooh. Yeah, it's all, I, I, yeah, I haven't even taken a sip yet. I know, I was just, I was getting it all mixed up first. Um, but so when you talk about the reform movement, which is most of the people I know, most of my friends are reform, very, it's, it's a relatively liberal movement. So um, a lot, there's like a queer synagogue in, in San Francisco. There's plenty of very inclusive Jews. A lot of like Jewish summer camps and Jewish institutions have, especially reform ones, have done a big, great job for the most part of incorporating queerness into um, uh, into the synagogue. I don't do synagogue stuff often, but like generally it's pretty good. One time a rabbi shut a screen door in my face so he wouldn't touch my hand. Orthodox. I know plenty of Orthodox people. I know very nice Orthodox people, but they got some messed up practices. And I can say that as a Jew. I will tell you one funny story. <laughs> Speaking of being trans and Jewish, Early on, oh, that is good. That's really good. Even with kale, wow. Early on in my transition, am I going to get nugget gifts for Hanukkah? I should. I should. I haven't yet. Um, anyways, um, early on in my transition, I went to a, in San Francisco, one of my first year here, I decided to go to an Echabad, which is like an Orthodox like little meetup. Um, for younger people. Anyways, for the point of the story, I went to an Orthodox synagogue because I was looking for community and I didn't know where else to go. So I went there. And I showed up in a dress. I was post-transition. But the thing about Orthodox Judaism is that men and women, unless you are married, are not allowed to physically touch each other. Okay? So when I walked in, it was, you could, I could see the thought process in all the men's heads, right? Of this is, a, because I was like still like really not much laser hair removal. You know, I was femme presenting, but I had really short hair. And, it, and they were like, they were like, couldn't decide whether or not to shake my hand. Like if I, do, if I don't shake this person's hand, then I'm accepting that they are a woman. But my teachings tell me maybe that's not the case. So maybe this is a man, but then they're presenting as a woman and I want to be nice and this is San Francisco. I could like see that all going on in their head. Um, ultimately, none of the men decided to give me a handshake, which I took as a compliment. This is really good. It's like they clearly used an immersion blender, so the beans are all in there. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Holly. Yes, I know. My hair is awesome. I love my hair. I did play Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom, and I loved it. What kind of soup? This is a white bean soup with house-made chicken and dewy sausage and kale pesto. I shake people's hands regardless of gender. Yeah, great. But Orthodox people do not. Orthodox Jews, um, it's very gender centric Do I like the new Fortnite map? I do. Ollie and I were playing right before she made it. What's your drink? This is a bean. Bean. I was about to say it's like a bean lemonade. It's a berry soup. Hello, Fushizi. Welcome back. Sorry about the, the temporary block. Oh, I'm glad, Maya. Hello. Oh, thank you, Skylar. I'm so happy. Um, a berry soup. I mean, basically, it is a berry soup if you think about it. A berry gazpacho, maybe? Mm. Do I believe in God? Uh, big question. I'm happy to answer it. Not really. I have nothing against people who believe in God, but I, 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 my stance on God is about the same stance I have on ghosts, which is that they might exist. They might not. Either way, I don't really think much about either. That's, that's kind of like, that's, that's like the, the long and short of it for me. I have no proof to say that they don't exist, but I don't have any proof to say they do. Favorite at home? Oh, I already 
answered the yes, I do like the Fortnite map. Um, at home food, I don't really have. We had pretty simple meals growing up. I certainly have nostalgic foods. My mom made a lot of chicken fettuccine Alfredo. <laughs> Agnostic, sure. But still, I re identify as Jewish, culturally at least. Opinions on Lego Fortnite. I haven't played Lego Fortnite. It's a white bean soup. Oh, so this is the last thing we've ordered. I guess if we also order dessert after this, we should be good. Mm. My husband is one of nine kids, so we had a lot of pasta because it was cheap. That makes sense. That makes sense. Hello, Poggers Granny. How's it going? Chicken fettuccine is good. Yeah, it was a simple thing that she put together. She knew we liked it. We needed to be fed. So there it is. Mm. Oh, uh, sorry, Danielle. That's tough. Cubes in the soup, they are sausage. It's like a chicken and dewy sausage. Cubed. Oh, I'm so sorry, Valerie. I'm so sorry. Um, not educated with Jewish traditions. What are their belief systems? Um, the belief systems, and again, this is generally speaking. Um, uh, typically with Christianity, you have the Old Testament and the New Testament. For Jews, it's just the Old Testament. It stops, it stops there. There's no New Testament. That's not relevant for us. Um, there's no Jesus in Judaism. Um, yeah, I mean, the values are basically the same. It's just everything you can, it's just without the, the New Testament. We can go back to sub only, but I'm okay. I don't know, it's pretty quiet here right now. It's crazy, like three months ago, this would have been super busy, but it's actually pretty quiet now. Am I from San Francisco originally? No, I was born in Georgia. Georgia. Um, what degree did I get in college? I went to McAllister College in Minnesota, and I got a degree in media and cultural studies, uh, which was a lot of writing, very like true liberal arts degree of just like philosophy and critical cultural theory, that kind of thing. Hello from Athens, Georgia. Hello. My cousin came out today and she got kicked out. I am so sorry. Um, what an awful world. You know, you hear these stories and like, I wish I could do something, but you can't. It's just, if you're in a position to support your cousin, please do. I love that though. Because, yeah, wow. That is, I'm sorry. Uh, if you need any advice, let me know. But, no. Um... Do I like living in San Francisco? I do like living in San Francisco. I love living in San Francisco. It is a fantastic city. Um, with lots of good food. Generally, the people are nice. That's it. Yeah. Um, have I tried Lamar? Oh, yeah. Many times. I actually, tr we almost went there last time. Hello, Becky. Uh, yesterday, we I did try Lamar. It's just a little bit too loud. Uh, eventually, where are we at? Indian. I, Lamar was one of the last places I checked before we went to get pastries. It's your favorite? It's good. It's good. It's expensive, but it's good. Um, would I like Portland? Maybe. Uh, any dates ahead for me? Ooh, I like this question, Samantha. Uh, good pin. Um, yes, there are dates ahead for me. I don't know. For, I'm in a good mood today. It's one of the first days I've been in a good mood since I had the breakup with Katie, um, which I'm happy about. But... Um, so in theory, I have a date tomorrow, maybe, but she messaged me and said that she had a sinus infection. So it is possible that that won't happen. I'm not holding my breath because, um, uh, I don't really, I haven't been like talking, you know, sometimes you like organize a date, you like have, you match with someone on whatever Tinder and then, um, you talk, 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 and then you say, hey, we're going to go on a date. And they're like, yeah, sure. When works for you? How about like a week from now? Oh, perfect. And then you put it down on the calendar. And then it's like, do you talk for that week? Do you just kind of like check in a little bit? Or, right? We haven't been talking much. Sometimes, you know, the talking comes naturally, but sometimes it doesn't. Because you're going to meet each other one way or another. It's hard to like gauge the vibe virtually. Anyways, um, the point is that I may or may not have a date tomorrow. But either way. Um, on Saturday, I do have a date uh, with Emily, 
Um, Emily is her real name. She has given me consent uh, to use her name online. Uh, she and I actually had went on a couple dates earlier this year. I let her move in with me and I'm gonna take care of her. Good, good for you and good for your cousin. Good, I'm glad to hear that. Um, anyways, uh, oh yeah, so Saturday I have a date with Emily. Emily and I have been on some dates, kind of some things happened with Holly Amory and their fiance that kind of made it end briefly, but then she messaged me again and we're gonna give it another shot and she's super cute, yeah, she's so cute, she's so cute. Um, I do date women, I'm not bi, I do not date men, I date femmes. So like feminine women and feminine non-binary people are the people I'm interested in. So they have a date on, sa on Saturday morning with Emily, also Saturday night, Let's just say I'm going to a meetup where there will be plenty of people. I'm gonna leave it at that. Uh, speaking, do I ever date, go on a date with Evie again? Uh, yes, in fact, I have a date with Evie on Sunday. So I am like pretty packed. In theory, if the Friday date goes through, then I will have dates Friday, Saturday, and Sunday with three different people. Um, I'm pretty, yeah, it's cool. Why did I break up with Katie? I didn't, Katie, I like Katie more than she liked me. And she, she moved, she's moving. Uh, she did not like me enough to stay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like she, uh, I liked her more than she liked me. And that was a shame, but yeah. Is it rude to ask what is non-binary? No. So there's men, there's women, and then there's a bunch of space in between there. People who are Maybe a little bit more masculine, but not quite a man. A little more feminine, but not quite a woman. Maybe somewhere right in the middle. Maybe something else entirely. That's what a non-binary person is. Their gender is non-binary. The binary being man and woman. So if you're non-binary, that means you're not a man, you're not a woman. Something else. That's what non-binary is. They're also trans. Uh, what does shalom mean? It means hello, goodbye, and peace. It's a three-meaning word. I date you. Oh, thank you. Are these people I'm dating all trans? No. Um, the person on Friday, I think, is cis. I'm not sure. They could be non-binary. Honestly, I forget. Um, uh, Saturday is, she is cis, for sure. She's bi and cis. And Sunday, Evie is trans. She's trans every day, but I'm seeing Evie on Sunday, and Evie is trans. I want to come out to my family, but my dad's against that, and I don't know what to do. I am so sorry, Jess. <sighs> Delicious. So good. Oui. Merci. Oui, le menu. S'il vous plaît. Thank you. Um, I want to come out to my family. Yeah, I mean, Jen, if you don't, don't mind me asking, um, as trans or as, as gay? Uh, not that it makes that much of a difference. But um, I'm curious. Ooh. Voila. Anything new? Like a beautiful Paris day. Huh? Oui. Summer, summer day. Uh, no, actually, bad news. The fair is gone. Oh, it's our favorite color. Right D'accord. Oh, Donc, uh, well. I love the crunch. Nothing tremendously new. Do you think a cafe or hmm. an espresso? What do you think? Oh, the handmade ice cream. Yes, it's too soft. Comment tu t'en pudding en français? On dit pas. We don't really have it. It's really mm -hmm. Ou alors on garderait le même mot. Comme like a flan? Or like. Oui, flan. But pudding, when you go to England, the menu is all sorts of kinds of shapes of pudding. Interesting. But we say flan. Okay. But sometimes in England they make it with, I mean, they even make it with meat, right? Oui. So everything is pudding. And they, then they call it a mince pie, and it's like, what is right. that even? It's, and that's not even it's meat. Not mince, it's not mince. Anyways. Uh, yeah, maybe give me a few minutes, and I think we'll figure something out. Um, we oui, je peux parler France, français un petit peu, um, just enough to like make small talk with uh, our server Josephine. Elle est français. Et je ne suis pas français, mais je peux parler français un petit peu. Un petit. Peu. Is Katie really feminine? Katie is self-described as butch, which is feminine and butch. So not like hyper femme, but definitely more feminine. Um, am I Jewish? Yes, I am Jewish. My dad's side is Catholic, but I'm not.
There we go. I'm struggling to find my identity. Any tips? Okay. Um, well, you know, that's, that's a tough one because identity is a big thing. Do you have any... Can I ask what aspect of your identity you're you're struggling with or like what is it sexuality or gender or... also liz asked if you think she thinks my dad's side will make amends it's still too loud in here my dad's side of course thinks i'm evil the devil etc i don't know if they will um i i don't think so i i, I really don't um they might in their own way eventually be like, oh, maybe we'll call you Lily and not Nick. But it's not enough. It won't ever be enough. Like, there's nothing they could do. I, I really don't think. Uh, I'm not holding my breath. I'm not holding my breath. Uh, do you just close your trans prior to the first date? Um, yes, but I wouldn't have to. I shouldn't have to. No one should. Um, thank you, Potted. Have I ever been to Ireland? You know, I, I've been to London and England. I've been to Scotland. I've never been to Ireland. Am I Italian too? I am. Um, <laughs> drop the eyeliner name. Uh, it's called Pure Eyeliner. It's a stamp. It's on Amazon. It's like 15, 20 bucks and it's very good. Pure, P-U-R-E. Um, Shalom. What's my next, po next podcast topic? You know, podcasting is one of those things that I love to do. It's just, I don't have that much time to do it. Because so much of my time is spent streaming and preparing for the stream. And then second priority is making like short form YouTube videos or TikTok videos, like a minute, minute and a half long videos. You can look at them all on my TikTok page. Those help me make a living more than my podcast. Um, because even though I know my podcast has a small but very, very dedicated user base for people who are just like super into it. Unfortunately, it's not. It's it's something that I don't have as much time for, and it doesn't help me pay the bills. Um, so I'm sure I will do another podcast at some point. I just don't know why. I'm trans, and lately I've been getting bullied at school for any tips. I am so sorry. Um, you do not, uh, and I'm assuming that as an affirming name for you. But uh, yeah, um, stand up for yourself as best you can. I know it's not an easy thing to just like stand up. Um, there's only so much you can do because bullies um, are always going to be there for us, unfortunately. Or hopefully they won't be, but probably they will. Uh, my tip that helps me when I get bullied, and believe it or not, I get bullied a fair amount, um, is to meet the bullies with kindness. And this is not an easy thing to do. It's actually a deeply difficult and uncomfortable thing to do. Um, Whenever someone is hateful towards you, and that's what bullying really is, they are reflecting their own insecurity and unhappiness at you. Now, it's hard to think about that in the moment because it can be so quick. But that's what it is. The real trick is anytime, it's kind of like imagine you're a boxer. And if you, if you look at, look, and this is actually how it happens. Like boxers, when they take a punch, they do not tighten when they take a punch, even though it might be the instinct. Boxers soft so that they absorb the blow as opposed to like meeting the blow head on. Um, because absorbing the blow is the overall healthier way to box and the way that you preserve your, you reduce damage to yourself. So the way you can kind of interpret that when it comes to more emotional word-based bullying is to meet it with softness. And instead of meeting it with like anger and like stop it, like I'm so upset that you're bullying me, and like how could you, like how could you be so hateful, and like how dare you? Um, instead, to meet it with how are you being like that? Um, and you don't need to say this to their face, but you know you can always say to yourself, like I I, I wish you peace, even even when the worst of the worst, like yesterday for example, when people took screenshots of my face made tiktok accounts and started gifting like roses so that you know not that much money but 
you know, that I had to like, and then they would like make their username man, like, oh, we man, or whatever, and just like continuously gift. So I had to just like see that over and over again. Even that, which is like, it doesn't get much worse than that. I mean, it can, but even that to meet it with softness and say, wow, um, those people must be going through something. To, to put so much time and energy into making someone try to make trying to make someone feel so awful they must really be going through something um and to feel pity for them and kindness and that is so tough uh it's not something you can just do easily uh but that's that's the way to meet it um also if you can get to a new school do that <laughs> yeah how would you describe your style i really like the red hook thank you um I think it's like a little bit of pinup vibes sometimes, a lot of 90s vibes, like uh, the Pink Power Ranger is a big influence for me, Kimberly. Thank you, Chia. Um, yeah, kind of those two things combined. I don't have too much more of a spot, style inspo than that. Um, thank you, Chia. Um, hey, I recently started transitioning like this. Can someone pin Dorian's question? And I was wondering, how I might feel more comfortable presenting femme in public. Um, well, hello, uh, and congratulations on your transition. Uh, oh, oh, right, I literally haven't even thought about it yet. Maybe five more, oh, and could I have a hot tea, like a mint tea? Do you have mint? Allemand? Merci. See, I know my vocab, I remember from French class. Tea <laughs> Allemand. Um, yeah. Uh, real quick, before I get to you, Dorian, um, I think the famous butterscotch pudding. There's also the coffee, no, chocolate toffee almond crunch cake. I don't know if we've done that one before. There's that or the famous butterscotch pudding. We did the pear and macadamia nut crumble. The apple hand pie. Uh, what do we think? Butterscotch or toffee almond cake. Crunch cake. I could do either. Um, hello, Tracy. Pudding. Okay, so yeah, I mean, to feel confident in public, com again, confidence is a fickle thing. To feel confident is not, e it's not easy to feel confident. Um, taking small steps is what I'd recommend, right? Where you don't need to just like step, you know, day one or two, put on full femme makeup, dress, etc., and like spend your whole day in it. They're in the, in the order, do both? Oh my. Um, we'll get to Jim in a second, but, um, oh, okay. Actually, can you tell us, can you tell us if there's a better name for us to call you? Maybe Ashley, I don't know, anything. Sounds like maybe Jim is not a firm. Um, anyways, the, take small steps, right? Even early, even early on in my transition, there were some days I felt too dysphoric to wear femme clothes and I had to put on masculine clothes. And that didn't feel good either, but take a slow, you know, maybe take a trip to CVS wearing a dress or makeup. And then maybe, you know, try it again next week. And then maybe go to CVS and the gas station, things like that. Um, go slow, it's fine. I recently discovered I'm trans, but I'm worried my girlfriend will leave me. Oops, I accidentally unpinned that. What do I do? Um, well, my friend, and I'm going to say Jim only because I don't know if you have a, there's a more affirming name. I'm assuming Jim is maybe not going to name, but um, you know more than anyone if your girlfriend is going to You probably know exactly what your girlfriend's going to do already. Uh, because if, you're, if she's your girlfriend, you know her stance on trans people. You know if it's good or bad. And you also probably know if she's attracted, if, if she will likely be attracted to you after you come out. Not everyone, not every relationship survives a transition. Uh, it's really, it can, it can go either way, and that's totally fine. Um, it might be that your girlfriend will break up with you, and that's okay. Um, it might be that she's not, and that's also great. That's the idea. Um, but you've got to be ready for both situations. Um, the good news is that one, either way it happens, you will be making the right choice for yourself. Um, and you, you know, I tell this to, to early transitioning people or people who are questioning or thinking they might be trans. The transitioning will not make you happy automatically. It will only give you the chance at being happy. It's not a guarantee. It is just a chance. Your chance of being happy 
goes from 0% to more than 0%. Um, but if you never transition, your chance of happiness is zero. Um, it's always worth it to at least try. And chances are good. Easy. Uh, so if your girlfriend breaks up with you, that could happen. But know that it would be worth it even if it did happen. There's a total possibility that she won't, and she'll be totally cool. You know that better than me. Um, good luck with that. All right. I, I hope that it goes well. Um, mods are doing a great job. I, I agree. Thank you, Gio. Yeah. Um, yeah. My wife is also Jewish. Okay, okay. So what do we think? Both. I don't really want both. I'm not. I'm not hungry enough for both. I, I think the 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 crunch cake. I think I want the the butterscotch pudding. I think the butterscotch. I, it's been a while since I've had it, and it's very good. My name is also Rose. I just can't change. The, oh, well, hi Rose. Everyone say hi to Rose. Messy. Um, je pense que je veux le le flan. The pudding. Le pudding. Le pudding. Le what? Custard. Custard? Oh, wait. Okay. Wait. Let's see. Everyone say hi to Rose. Also, Jim or whoever you are, if you want us to say your name too, let, let us know. We would love to uh, affirm you. Who is Rose? Well, Rose is the person that's kicked. We love to say when, especially when a trans person tells you their name for the first time, you want to say it a lot because it feels good to say. Um, my pronouns are she, her. Do I like living in SF? I feel like we are in France. Nous sommes en France. Hello, Felicity. Oh, Felicity was saying hi to Rose. Yes. And hello, Felicity. Rose is a beautiful name. Rose is actually one of the... If I hadn't done my middle name, when I changed my name, I changed it to Lily Maya Contino. Um, had I not gone with Maya, I would have done Rose. Because Rose's first a Jewish name were common for Jewish girls in America particularly. But also, um, it is a name that's like really, was really common among people my age. Um, I have dated so many girls that have a middle name Rose. So many. Rose is a very pretty name. Do I speak Spanish? No, no. I only speak French. It's almost 3 p.m. I know. I know. You just sent a cash app. Oh, let me check. Um, I, if, if I... Make sure I don't miss anybody. There you are, one love 209 Thank you very much. Uh, they sent $10 and said, Love and Light, you are amazing. My TikTok name is Yo Yuan. Thank you so much. And thank you to everyone who's gifted today. Thank you to Felicity as well. It's hundred dollars. Thank you. Um, happy Hanukkah. I'm Jewish too. Happy Hanukkah. Yes. Happy Hanukkah. Um, uh, did I have glasses since a young age? Thank you. Jim. Thank you. Um, yeah. I can't, can't do this without you. Y'all are the only reason that I'm able to stream and do it every week. week right? Like, Andorra? I've heard the name Andorra before. I feel like I should know who Andorra is right off the top of my head. Andorra, if you're here, please don't be offended. Thank you for being here. I know your name. I know. Um, Ollie's Kitty. Wait. Pandora. Isn't there a trans girl named Andorra that's pretty popular? Oh. Happy Hanukkah to all my Jewish friends. Hello, Stacy Browning, and thank you, Alexis and Fo. It's off the wish uh, Maybe I'm thinking of Adora. Is Adora a trans person? Wait. Pandora is Ollie's kid. Okay. Adora is popular. Her for name is That's who I was thinking of. Adora. Got it, got it, got it. Not Andora. Andora is short for Pandora, which is Ollie's kid. Lily, what do you use in your hair? I use, hello, Carol. Uh, I use um, Paul Mitchell tea tree leave-in conditioner, and then I squeeze out all the water, and then I put it in Miss Jessie's cocoa. Those are like my two, two steps. Um, thank you, Harlow. Just another minute on this. Yes. 
Le butterscotch pudding, yeah. There's no French yeah. translation, so I have to say it like that. Sweet Josephine. I love speaking in French with Josephine. It makes me so happy. All right. This is a butterscotch pudding with a Mexican wedding cookie. A little thing of chocolate, a little, some sort of whipped cream. Have I trained, seen trans wife? Yet? I have not. Is that an account? Sounds like an account. Shall we? Ooh, it's cold. I don't know why I like jumps. You won't get butterscotch pudding better than this. You won't get butterscotch pudding better than this. It's so good. Mm. 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 Thank you, Alexa. Wow. I forgot how good this was. So it's like if you if you are someone who doesn't like butterscotch pudding from like the grocery store, I don't. That's not what it is. It's not even close. You can taste the freshness, the cream, the butterscotch. It's just perfect. It's just perfect. Wife wants a date in the city. You should definitely come to the city. What kind of restaurant are you looking for? Mm. Wow. Wow. Why don't I get, why don't I eat this every day? Mm. Unreal. Unreal. Wow, a gift just came through. A big gift just came through. I'm going to give it a second because I want to make sure the person is here and listening when I read it. And take another. This is so good. Mm. Makes me a wedding cookie. Mm. Friends, wife. Friends, wife, life, wife. That's a fun twist. But friends, wife, life's wife is male to female, like me, and talks about the transition from her POV. Cool. I should follow them. Oh God. An incredible, <clears throat> an incredible gift just came through. Of course, it was Marla. Marla, Marla, you there? Miss Marla, is Miss Marla in the house? I'm gonna read it once I know Marla's watching. Mm. Wow. I'm gonna drop that in there. There you are, Marla. Okay. First off, we love Marla. Marla is very active in our Discord, where I will be right after this for like all night. We're doing a whole long stream. Um, probably like three hour stream after this on the Discord specifically. You're gonna watch the Game Awards, but Marla is such a sweetie. And um, Marla understands why this stream is able to happen. The only reason it's able to happen. I do not have other jobs. I do not work at Starbucks on the side or whatever coffee shop. Um, I'm not someone who, um, what, what I'm trying to say is when gifts like this come through, uh, it makes it so much easier for me to know I have rent paid and know that I've got Nuggets medication covered for the month and know groceries are covered, right? Marla sent $80 um, and said, happy Hanukkah, eight $10 gifts for eight days of Hanukkah gifts. Smiley face, you're the best lady. You're the best man. Thank you. Happy Hanukkah to you. And yeah, I, I, I'm always just flabbergasted when these come through because if you had told Lily a year ago, maybe a little over a year ago, because actually we're coming up on my one year stream anniversary. I think it's either December 16th or 17th. Um, if you had told me like 10 months ago that I would have this generous of a community and be able to support myself full time and not have to worry about having to move to a place where I was maybe less safe, right? Because I'm in San Francisco because it's safe. Um, yes, it's a great city, great food, but like it's safe. I, if I moved elsewhere in the, in the country, I, I wouldn't be, especially now with the kind of like internet notoriety that I have, it's not safe. Um, 
I can live here and feel comfortable and safe and taken care taken care of because of you know, because of gifts from people like Mark. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, no, you're totally fine about so again. This stream will always be free. I, I'm never going to do like a sub only stream. I will do streaming in Discord, but you know that's not necessarily the same thing. Because most of the time, the questions that come through about people who are, um, you know, struggling or you know need advice or things like that, those people usually aren't sub because they would typically ask that the first time they were over here. So I always want to make sure that communication line is open. The people who can give do, and it's huge. The, it's the reason the stream keeps going. So thank you. You're such a patty. Your confidence rubs off on everyone. I hope you know that. Thank you, Al. Thank you. I'm glad to hear. I'm glad to hear. I'm glad to hear. Um, yeah, my mods are awesome. Um, these are amazing. Is there a genuine question you don't have a job? Or a genuine reason you don't have a job? The... the, the I'm gonna I wanna give you a different example here. Let's talk name a big streamer. Name like a streamer who makes six or seven figures, like ninja or someone. Else. We can like we, we probably are all aware of someone who streams who is a multimillionaire, right? Think about it. Picture that person in your head, okay? Um it's not me. <laughs> um so would you ever say that ninja or whoever, this big stream in your head, doesn't have a real job? Would you ever say that Ninja or whoever it is um, is just lazy? Or would you say that Ninja is a uh, very skilled streamer who uh, has built a media empire for himself and uh, make content that people enjoy and creates value for the world, right? So I'm not saying I'm Ninja, but I am saying that weirdly our society only considers content creators to be worthy of consideration once they've crossed a certain point of fame or followers or whatever, right? But the reality is that whether you have 10 followers or 10 million followers, if you are making content, you are creating value. Now, if you have 10 followers, it's going to be very difficult to support yourself because even though you're making value, that value is only being, um, the content is only being consumed by so many people. But I'm lucky enough that I'm at a point where what I'm making um, is of value to enough people that I'm able to support myself. So really, this is my job. Um, it doesn't feel like a job most days because I love it and I derive so much more meaning out of it than most people are derived from their jobs. Um, I would say I'm one of the luckiest people in the world for that reason. But um, yeah, this is my job. This is the way I support myself. It's also the way that I um, find meaning in the world. It just happens to be all the same thing. That's exactly what I said. So, yeah. um, and uh, if you're someone who thinks that content creators don't, uh, aren't worthy of your time or consideration, that they don't have a job, would you consider movie makers to be content creators? Because I would. TV shows? That's content. Podcasts? That's content. Streamers? That's content. Instagram, TikTok, anyone who makes something and puts it into the world, that's a content creator. So unless you're willing to give up all social media, never watch a movie or TV again, and never play a video game again or anything, in fact, maybe not even read a book anymore because book is also content. If you're willing to do that, then you might be valid in saying that content creators don't put value into the world. But I have a feeling that everyone here consumes some form of content on the regular. Uh, so, yes. Uh, what was my job before content creation? Uh, I was in tech. So I was making good tech money, but I was not particularly happy. Um, yeah, Kardashian gets millions of address for nothing. I mean, the crazy thing is, and like, I'm not a fan of Kim Kardashian, but for many people, she does create content and value for them. Who are we to judge? But she does. She is at a scale where no one would deny that she doesn't have a job. In fact, we might deny that she has too much money. Um, I certainly 
Yeah, I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. Where do you see yourself in five years? Do you want to start a family, grow your platform? Starting a family, no. Um, I definitely, in five years, would love to have a long-term partner or partners. Um, but in terms of streaming, I don't really know. Um, I want to keep doing what I'm doing in the purest sense of the word, which is to help people and create content that is meaningful and um, change-making. Uh, speaking about trans issues, pushing the envelope, helping educate people, changing hearts and minds, and supporting people. Uh, all, I always want to do that, always, whatever it is that I do. I don't know how exactly I'll do it in five years, but I will be doing that one way or another. I am Jewish, yes. Um, have I always been poly? Uh, no, no, I've not always been poly. The majority of my life, I, or at least in my dating life, I'm not in this question. I started polyamory about three years ago. There's no way I'm Jewish. I'm curious why you think that. I spent 12 summers at Jewish summer camp. Uh, I worked there for five. I used to work in the Jewish community. I used to run a Jewish after school program. I used to fundraise in the Jewish community. Um, I used to live in a Moisha house. I am deeply Jewish. Um, I have been my entire life. I got bar mitzvah at 13. My mom's Jewish. Um, my dad converted to Jews, and my brother currently lives in a Moshe house. A lot of my friends work in the Jewish community. I mean, you can say I'm not Jewish, but it's kind of crazy to say that. Have I seen Uncut Johns? No, I've not seen Uncut Johns. I have not, actually. Um, have, yeah, I, I have not always been poly. Happy Hanukkah, Tigger. Um, I think another gift came through. Doing good on time here. Uh, another PayPal came through three dollars. Thank you, Leah. L E A Leah. Leah said hi. I'm Leah. You seem to have such a healthy relationship with foods. I just oh okay. I'm I'm going to censor this a little bit because it might be a little bit triggering for people, but I'm going to get the point of what you're saying across. Um, okay. Yeah. So basically, Leah is asking how I maintain a healthy relationship with food. And also, P.S., your streams feel like therapy to me, and I'm so grateful for you and your streams. Um, well, thank you, Leah, and thank you for being here. You know, it's interesting. Um, it's a work in progress. I know it looks like my relationship with food is A+, plus, super healthy all the time, but I've been there exactly where you have been quite recently. Um, and, and sometimes I find myself back there again. I will say that food is something that, um, especially since I've gotten sober, because at first it was like the really bad substances that like four years ago, I'm four years sober from, I kicked those out. Then I went to tier two substances, which was like alcohol and a couple of and like nicotine, finally kicked those substances. Then I went to caffeine, which is a tier three substance. And finally knocked, knocked out caffeine a few months ago. Finally, the remain, only remaining thing that like I can, can control, quote unquote, when I'm, you know, feeling not great, is faith. Um, and I can be self-conscious about that sometimes. Um, you know, I, I guess all I can tell you is that at my best, I when I'm trying to, what I try to do is eat, eat, not worry about what it is that I'm eating, not be like, oh, I don't need these fries. I just, that, that doesn't, that doesn't occur to me or I try not to let it occur to me. I mostly just think like, what will I, A, what will I be happy to eat? And B, um, when am I going to be full? How much food am I going to consume? How much food before I am full? Because I do not want to be open. Um, and those are the two things I want to consider. Happy food, things that make me happy and um, enough, but not too much food. Hope that helps. Thank you, Cassie. Um, how do I eat out every day? Um, because of generosity from the people who watch these streams. I also, one interesting thing is I, um, uh, my gr believe it or not, my grocery budget has gone way down, like way down, uh, because I barely eat at home. Um, I eat a big meal usually out and about, and then this morning I had an apple with peanut butter, and I might have like some frozen mango later tonight, but nothing else. Um, because typically, I, I want to I want to eat as uh, varied as a. Oui. Cool. Yeah. Cool. 
Comment tu dis Rich euh, C'est très riche. C'est pour ça qu'on le fait petit, c'est riche, mais oui. c'est concentré, mais c'est petit. Heureux. Pas plus, like, ça suffit. Yeah, ça. Okay. ça suffit. Merci, Josephine. It was like just heavy cream. Um, yeah, I think I'm all good here. Uh, L'addition, s'il vous plaît. No, no rush. Um, I forget what I was just talking about. What was I just talking about? Le thé, c'est pour moi, je te l'offre. Le thé, c'est la France qui te l'offre. Un autre fois Le thé, c'est la France qui te l'offre. Je ne comprends pas ça. Le thé, c'est pour toi. Merci. Oui, c'est tout à fait correct. C'est très affordable. Ah oui, oui, oui. I only, and it's not like I'm eating less than I should at home. It's only because I eat like a snake meal. So by the, so I, and my body knows it that I'm not really hungry until like noon or one. And then I eat my big meal and then I'm not hungry in the evening either. So. Um, what did I have today? Let's see, I will read it. Uh, we have a berry lemonade, a raclette Swiss laka, a mushroom element, uh, emmental, cream chive latke, a traditional latke, a white bean soup, a butterscotch pudding, and um, that's what she was trying to tell me. Got it. Because I was speaking French with her, she comped my, my tea. My, that's what she was trying to say that I couldn't understand. She comped my tea. That's very sweet of Josephine. Um, I was trying to understand. I was like, what are you saying? I can understand very basic, but like she was trying to tell me. That was very sweet. Applesauce or sour cream? Um, I, I did both. I go both at the same time. Am I learning French? No, I'm not learning French. I just learned it in, in high school. I, I, was, I did French from, from middle and high school and some of college. And then I visited France many times. Lucky enough to have done that. Um, I actually did a study abroad in junior high school uh, where I was like fully immersed for almost a month. And that was, um, that was like, that was big for me. I like really, even though I've lost most of it by now, you know, I can remember, like I'd never thought of the word, like Sasufi is like, that's enough. I thought of that phrase in a decade and it just came out of me just now. It's just kind of certain, certain amounts of French I will never forget, which is great. Yeah, French is, French is fun. I like French. What made me choose Nugget out of all the dogs in the shelter? That's a great question. You know, it's super cheesy, but Nugget chose me. Because the day that I showed up to the shelter, I was not planning on, on adopting. I, w I was streaming, and I, was, I just wanted to shine a light on some of the dogs and, be, and like maybe help get some of the dogs adopted. Um, so I, it, so like I sat down, and this little white cute dog came over uh, and literally just like sat on me. And that dog was nugget. And I did not realize what was happening at first, but by the time I was ready to stand up, which was like 10 minutes later, I was like, oh, this is my dog now. <laughs> we're best friends now. I like looked at Nugget and I was like, we're best friends. And he was like, yeah, was like, okay, got it. You're coming with me. Um, it, was, it was like very much a moment that was just like, oh, this is what's happening. Got it. This is what fate is doing. And... You know, I'd already, I already knew all the people at the shelter. They knew I was looking to adopt at some point, but maybe not today. And he literally just came and sat on my lap. So I didn't even, there were no other dogs I was really considering because as soon as I got there, he sat on me. And that was it. Um, was his name already Nugget? No, his name was not already Nugget. At the sh he was a stray, so they didn't know what his name was, but they gave him the name Hayward. Um, and... I took that name and said, hmm, well, what about Howard? Um, uh, and then Howard, so like when he got, when he came home with me, his name was Howard. But I, I like, with it, on like day two or three, I looked at him and I was like, you're just like a little nugget. Like, you're just like a little nugget, dude. Like, you're like a little nugget dog. And um, merci pour le thé. Um, And I just, so I, I decided that his middle name was Nugget. And so technically his full name is Howard Nugget Contino. But really his name is just Nugget. Like I, I don't call him Howard. I don't even think of him as Howard. He's Nugget. 
Howard is just like, we'll say it's his, 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 his Hebrew name is Howard, or his, his Christian name is Howard. I am Jewish, yes. Um, I actually need a new, uh, new Hebrew name. Uh, it's not, I don't know if something you're all aware of, but a lot of times when Jewish babies are born, they're given a Hebrew name. Mine was uh, Abir, which means like strong or something. It's not a very feminine name. So I need a new one. One more time. What does that mean? What is that you saying? That's a little nickname like endearing. Like I'm Josephine and in French I would be Jojo. Jojo. Jojo, that's how we do My friend Laurent, she's Lolo. So would that be Lily then? Lily, Lily, that's a nickname. I mean, because my full name is Lily, but it's it's like exact. You can't change it. It's already, you can't change it. It's already built in. It's all good. Thank you, Josephine. You can stay. I will. I, I'll be gone before that. I'll be out of your hair before that. But thank you so much, Josephine. Have a good day. Jojo. Jojo. Bonjour, mec. Ça va? Ça va, mec. Menorah lighting in Union Square. Well, we already lit our menorah today. Um, yeah, it can be, it, women can be strong. I agree. Of course, I agree on that. But like, I want a new one. It was given to me as a boy, so I want to it. All right, let's see. Um, so 10% is $6.40. 20% is $12.80. Wait, 20% is $12.80. 40% would be $25-ish. We'll do that. Brings us to $89.19, right? Yes. $25. Try and tip well when we can. Is Josephine Jewish? You know, I don't know. I don't know. I did not get any, I didn't get any signs that she was Jewish, but Maybe she was. I'm going to tip more than 15. Y'all have been very generous today, and I like to pay it forward. Josephine's been great. No reason not to. See, I brought my own aluminum foil. Isn't that fun? Dreidel. Yes, I brought my own dreidels. Happy Hanukkah, everybody. My menorah. Yes, ask questions, ask questions. I do not keep kosher now. Um, will I post this on YouTube? No, but I do post all of my old lives um, in a Google Drive, which you can access via the Discord. So if you are subscribed on TikTok, you can go um, And specifically, it's the $10 subscription. It's not just following. You have to be subscribed. Um, you can go in the Discord, and I'm actually going to be streaming there for like three hours tonight, watching the Game Awards, so this is just the beginning. It's like the first half, but won't be on TikTok. Um, either way, um, there's also all of the old lives, so even though this won't be up like as soon as I'm done, I, still, I have actually quite a few lives to put up from the past couple weeks, but um, there's like hundreds of hours already there. Uh, no, I tipped, I didn't tip 15, I tipped 25. A lot of people in my area. I don't want to. I don't want to ask their pronouns. Um. Yeah. I mean, asking pronouns is totally fine. You can just say, "Hey, what are your pronouns?" Or you can even introduce yourself and be like, "Hi, I'm Lily. Uh, my pronouns are she/her. What's your name?" And they'll be like, they'll get the hint that, all right, now you say your pronouns. Um, it's not an offensive thing to do. The only people who are going to take offense to you asking their pronouns are angry cis people who don't like trans people. So if that's your concern, then it's valid. But trans people aren't going to be upset. What's my dream vacation, Emma? Good question. Easy. Currently, I want to go to Disneyland. Um, it's something that, like, financially, I'm right on the cusp of being able to do, especially if I do content while I'm there. Um, I really just want someone to go with. I want. I was going to go with Katie, but then we broke up and she moved, so that is no longer an option. I don't really want to go alone. Um, I also wouldn't mind driving. I need to figure something out for Nugget, but... Disneyland is my 
my current dream. And it's not like an out of reach dream either. It's a dream that I like can definitely do. And I'm sure I will. I just need to know when. Um, Thank you for doing that. I take it. And it's super nice of you. One more time. Thank you for doing that. I take it so I can do my case. Of course, of course. But I wanted to show you tonight. I'm meeting some oh. friends. It's Ooh. a French older man, nice enough. His daughter is just, she's unlike her parents. She studied music. She went to stay in Paris and she was uh, singing in a cabaret. Oh. And it's so good, but just happy go lucky kind of really this oh. kind of sad time bon, you know? Okay. Yeah, yeah. And uh, she's playing in the city tonight in a cafe. And uh, and it's the Hanukkah celebration. I'm not Jewish, but I, I appreciate it. Oh, okay. And, Where is uh, it? And so I thought I would show you the thing because we're going there. That's where it is. Okay. And her, uh, her band, it's uh, it's okay. very, very modern. It's like accordion, a whole yeah. bunch of just like happiness circus type. Okay, and cool. And so it's there. I thought I would show it to you just in case. No, that's good. You're Thank you. It's in North Beach. Okay. And it's a Hanukkah celebration. Huh. And so I thought I would just show you the thank, thank you for the okay. heads up. Yeah, I appreciate it. Um, it yeah, I've, I've got a pretty busy <laughs> night tonight of streaming. But um, I, I will, I, I don't, I've never seen that place before. No, so I'll walk by it next time I'm in the area. Thank you so much That's for the invite. Thank you, Josephine. Uh, now we know. JoJo is not Jewish. She let us know. Anyways. Um... Yes, Disneyland. I really want to go to Disneyland. Epcot is fun. Yeah, Disneyland doesn't have Epcot, unfortunately. I've been to Disney World many times because I grew up in Florida, unfortunately. So I've been to Disneyland a million times. Or, sorry, Disney World a million times and all of the different lands that go with it, except for Animal Kingdom. I've been to, never wanted to. Been to Busch Gardens, been to um, all the Universal stuff, done it all. Um, but Disneyland is one I have not done yet. So that's the real, and there's no Epcot there. It's much smaller, so I hear, which makes sense because it's California versus Florida. Um, but I still want to do it. And I think two days would be enough. I go like one park one day, one the other. Um, yeah. Anyways, that's my, that's the goal. Um, I think I can probably take out my earplugs now. It's like not too loud anymore. Um, Florida was a hater state. It is a hater state, unfortunately, but I did grow up there. What was the last time I visited Columbus, Georgia, where I was born? Uh, I passed through Columbus 2000 and maybe like 12 or 13. Oh, nice, man. I didn't realize. That's cool. Um, it's been a while. But I also certainly wouldn't want to go there now. Uh, I would not feel safe in Columbus, Georgia, or really anywhere in the South. Um, with maybe Atlanta as an exception, but even then, um, but that's okay. I don't really want to go there anytime soon. So, um, anyways, what are the headphones for? These are for noise canceling. They were helpful when the restaurant was a lot louder, but luckily it's kind of quieted down here. All right. Um, cool, everyone. So, um, it's 317. Got it. So here's the plan. Um, if you are a Discord person, um, lunch was great, Mandy. If you are subscribed to, to TikTok, uh, you can join the Discord. A lot of you are already there. If you're not, you should, because what today is gonna look like for the rest of the day is um, I am going to um, go from here back to my apartment and walk Nugget. And then um, I'm gonna go back home and start streaming the Game Awards, which is a super fun, like, what if it was the Oscars, but for video games. Lots of awards, lots of announcements. It's like three plus hours long. You can drop in, drop out. I'm just going to be streaming it. I might not even have my video on. Maybe I will. I don't know. But it'll just be like a fun, chill hang. Um, and you're welcome to join if you are subscribed to the TikTok. How do I get on the Discord? Um, so you go to the, the subscribe button, press it. And then you should get like a little, there's a little perks section, P-E-R-K, perks. And then you can press join the Discord. But you already have to have Discord installed on your phone and have an account. Um, otherwise, it will like not work. I literally quit coffee. And I'm still like this. Anyways, I will probably be there. Cool, yeah. And look, it's a long thing. I, I, I would imagine I'll be there for the whole game awards, but I don't know. Hmm. It's good to you. So if you want to hang out more, 
tonight, there's plenty to be hanging out with. I will be back tomorrow because tomorrow is Friday. I don't know what we'll be doing, but it'll be something. It'll be fun. Um, anything else? Thank you to my mods. Thank you to my mods. Let me triple check. I didn't miss any other gifts before I go. Um, thank you to my mods. Thank you to my head mods. Thank you to my new mods. Uh, thank you to everyone who gifted today. I think we got everyone. Still checking for mail. Turn off your Wi-Fi. Um, anyone else we want to thank? Harry Hanukkah. Thank you, Harry Hanukkah. <laughs> um, have I been to Saigon Sandwich? I have not. I've heard of it. It's like a, it's like a banh mi place, right? Just thank you. Welcome mods. Um, much love from Houston. Thank you. Am I happy? Like truly happy? Yes, I am. And I'll tell you what, I was not truly happy before I transitioned. Transitioning is what allowed me to be happy in myself. Um, cool. Is this? No, I'm not doing that. Um, cool. Oh, shoot. I did miss someone. Kayla. Sorry, Kayla, if you're still here. Kayla. Oh. Hmm. Mm -mm. That's a bad faith question for sure. Um, Kayla said, I hope the hate you've been receiving is letting up. Please don't let the nasty things people. I think that's probably a typo. Please don't let the nasty things get to you. Thank you, Kayla. Um, okay. Um, I think that's it. I love you all. I will see you tomorrow. Unless you're on the Discord, in which case I will see you in like an hour or so. Cool. Love ya. Stay lovely, my friend.